Now, the rest of the story. Well, up until a couple days ago, I thought I posted this video until somebody had asked me if I had done any cultivating this year. So yes, I have. I mean, of course. And this is a sped up version of me filling this for the first time. It took five minutes. So sped up, what, four times? And the biggest issue I had with this cultivator in regards to the fertilizer is the check valve worked. But then the problem is, is that I wasn't being, I wasn't able to to feed it out, you know, run it out onto the ground or next to the plants or feed the crop uh, fast enough where the the fertilizer was transferring from this tank over to the tank on the left side of the tractor and that little check valve I put in was doing its job and it wasn't letting it come back, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, but then the problem is, is I always had my tank on the left side full, maxed out until this tank that you're looking at was empty. So. I had already installed, a, at the end of the season, the cultivators put away, I've already installed a shutoff valve, just a simple um, turn valve, so I can actually regulate how much product can actually transfer from one tank to the other. Check valve's still in there, yes, but either I can completely shut off that line so it can't transfer over, or I'll shut it down so it can't move as much, and I should be fine. A lot simpler than my original plan of trying to plumb in another check valve, which would have worked um, a lot more wire uh, plumbing actually than personally I feel it would be worth. So my problems I had with the 4020 this year, um, the tires, the wedges on the, the back end, actually the wedge on this side of the tractor, uh, got loose, came loose, and it was running down corn. It happened on the last day or the I guess the second to last day that I was finishing up cultivating and as the day went on it just got to where I didn't realize it right away because I mean I the wedges were locked on there pretty hard and it didn't occur to me that that's why it was getting so hard to to cultivate around corners because I literally had to drive straight without any room for error down the rows um, otherwise I was running down corn I mean you can see this is straight track with the planter, I mean, I absolutely love running just straight lines whenever possible. A lot nicer for cultivating, combining, and spraying. So, I don't know, it's a lot nicer to look at. This field in particular, I'm really, really happy with how it looks. I mean, this was a month ago already uh, when this video was taken, and this corn is already throwing tassels. I mean, everything that we did to it this year was, was I guess on point uh, we're getting the moisture for the most part the stuff you get farther west of here and that corn is only about chest high and not really looking to throw tassels quite yet but it's also a week behind because we had four I think four days Thursday to Thursday to Monday I can't remember now uh, where we got rained out so that corn's got a little bit of an excuse yet and yes you do run over some corn on the end and I hate it but it's just one of those things you have to accept if you're going to side dress. And if you look in the lower bottom of the screen, you can see approximately where my my fertilizer lines are supposed to be running. Generally, they all are, but um, they're actually running right alongside that center tooth or the center S shank S tine, um, and the shovel that's on that tine is rolling the dirt on top of the liquid 32, and it's keeping it covered so it doesn't necessarily go up in the atmosphere because when I was doing a lot of this cultivating, we were in a dry spell. We're not right now, they're calling for rain for the next week, so um, hay still not getting made at this point, but we do have over 160 acres of hay made, which granted everybody's situation is different, but for us it's actually 160 acres of dry hay. Even the first part of July is is actually really good so June's typically a wet month you don't make dry hay um, what I'm planning on experimenting with next year with this cultivator I don't know if you guys saw it real quick but on the very last tines the most centermost tines there's a seven inch sweep <clears throat> excuse me and that is rolling the majority of the dirt right well what I'm thinking about doing is that there's actually three rows of tines you got the front the center and the rear so the two in the front, I'm thinking about getting rid of altogether, not 
going to. I'm, I'm thinking about it, though, so I, mean, I haven't made a decision. Um, but what I'm thinking of is leaving the straight tines on the front, and then there's actually, I think they're duck, what, duck feet or duck, whatever they are, but they look like a goose foot or a duck foot, you know, for as wide as they are. And I'm actually considering swapping out the center tine shovels with seven inch shovels to get a little bit more of that dirt rolling towards the plant. The problem with doing that when you actually could just see it, it you know, it hit a <clears throat> big clump of dirt rolled over. Yep, you're getting a bunch of corn there that's doing it. The downside to doing that is when early on when we start cultivating, uh, the plants are smaller and they can't take the abuse as far as much dirt rolling onto them. And then you have plants that are either goosenecked or you just knock down some of your population because, you know, you roll dirt over on top of a bunch of your corn. Uh, but I'm thinking about trying it on two rows that are side by side and really just seeing what it does and if I like the results because I'm really not doing much for weeding the way the cultivator is currently set up. And that's really not my point anymore or my goal as far as weeding the field anymore. It's getting air down to the roots and getting my my fertilizer down. Um, is it really worth doing in-season nitrogen? Absolutely. I mean, pretty much every single acre of my corn, I want side-dressed or wide-dropped. Uh, Dad's and Ryan's, a lot of theirs was side-dressed or wide dropped I should say uh, the good majority of it is was um, the corn looks pretty awesome for this this part this part of the world and um, it makes it worth it but that's all I had for for this video for these for cultivating so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in take care take it easy keep in touch